Hello, my name is Seket, and we are playing TNP Limitless 5. And uh, as threatened, we're going to be getting back into Industrial Reborn today. But first, there's always a but first. Um, I need some place to put it. I just don't want to keep messing in the little, uh, the little hidey hole. So there are a couple of mods that are going to help us out. We've got this, uh, this industrial decor mod, which looks pretty cool. We've got uh, decorative. We got some stuff in decorative blocks that might be really handy. And we've got engineers decor. So what I'm gonna want is uh, we're gonna want some processing down below and some processing up top. So we're gonna work on the down below first. I think that's where I'll put our industrial reborn stuff. I got the name of that mod, right? I hope I have the name of that mod right. Um, I really like this, and I really like this. We're gonna need some of this. So let's go ahead and make some. I'm not sure how much we're gonna need. Um, we can use this to make the sheet metal and the trap doors. So we'll just make uh, a good amount of this. And then we're going to want a smaller amount of these guys. And let's just see how these look. Oh, come on. Which one is which? <clears throat> That's the pillar. Okay, interesting. So this isn't a connected texture, but this is. That's good to know. This is going to happen a lot. Hmm, this is what they look like uh, all put together. You know, I like them, um, but I don't think they're, darn it, <laughs> wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. I see, and then could I just run these pillars along? Yeah, okay, now we're talking. Yeah, so these are directional. The uh, Depending on the face you place the block on, the face of the other block, that will determine the direction that these go in. Okay, I like that. I already changed my mind about how these are going to go. We're going to do this up one off ground level. Okay, that's probably not going to be uh, big enough, but uh, it's a start. Now to fill it in, um, I want to use some of these steel scaffolding slabs. And let's see if we can figure out how much we're going to need to make this. I need 100. So 6 divided by 100, it would be 1, 4, 16. So I think 17. So 17 times 3. Um, 17 times 3, well, 45 plus 6, 51. So, you know what? We should just get a stack to be safe. Oops. That's way more than a stack. Must have pulled them out of my inventory there. I didn't think I had them all. Like, All right, that's okay. We will use them. We're not running a steel shortage. Let's run back. Okay. So we got a good amount of steel scaffolding, which we will certainly use. And let's see how this looks. And keep in mind, this is just a, it's just a floor here. Okay, so the problem with this is the grass underneath. Um, 
I want to say there are some variants of this that we make just by placing this in the crafting altar. Is that right? Like if we wanted this, oh, we'd need those. OK. Now, how does how does this look? It looks good, but it's going to have the same problem. So we're going to use this for the, uh, the bottom. Let's see if I hope. <laughs> yeah, that'll be OK. All right, we're going to go up one more with the pillars here. Very cool. Then we're going to make something a little different. Um, where are the posts? Here we go. But what I want is treated wood. Yeah, straight treated wood pole. OK. So we're going to need, well, we're going to need more than that, aren't we? Let's see how this does us. Oh, that's it. You get six of them. OK. I probably could have seen that in the uh, tooltip. We're going to go up. Actually, we're going to go up one more. So we got that along what's going to be the, uh, the front. And then we're going to be solid along the back here. Maybe in the corners, too, actually. Yeah. Now, up at the tops of all of those, I want to try. I think I made some. I'm having a real hard time counting. Um, I want to try this, uh, this steel sheet metal. See how that looks. It looks pretty good. I don't know if it really matches anything else. Looks good with the treated wood. Hey, if you don't try new things, you never uh, you may never find things you may never find cool things. Try new things. Now we're gonna use the uh, the regular steel scaffolding from immersive. That's its its kind of first form there. To uh, kind of mirror this, uh, this pillar stuff we have down below. I'm trying to figure out the, the logic of how the, because that's what I want the slabs to be. I can't recraft craft the slabs, but OK, this works just fine. Nice. And now that we got some place to put all this, we're going to move it. Uh, hopefully, we'll get, uh, oh, that's one machine frame. Oh, no, we got the, we got the generator. That's cool. We only got a machine frame back when we picked up the alloy smelter. We're going to have to make another one of those. Does that mean that Seketh has figured out the alloy smelter? Maybe. Anyway, we're going to go ahead and put our bat box right back down. We're going to put it down. Hmm. We'll put it down right here. No, we'll put it down right here. And I believe that's our output, right? So if we click with the wrench on this side, it moves it to where we're, you know. You know what I'm trying to say, I hope. And we're going to put generators in like so. Oh, they kept their power. That's nice. And then we're going to run this cable along. So question number one. We'll put our uh, our crusher down. I doubt very much it's going to let us pipe directly. I think we already established that it won't pipe into the electric furnace from this side. 
so let's find out. We got uh, plenty of ore lying around. Let's see what it does. Be a relatively simple matter to move this pipe up to deposit from the top, but yeah. Okay. Oh, we need a. We're never gonna find anything out if we don't have the pipe set correctly. Anything happening? Well, the ore's going right in there. Uh, that's an issue. Okay, yeah. I, th I think we I think we established that that's what happened with this. Um, so let's disconnect from here, and we'll just run up to the top. Give this another go. Oh no, it's still just taking the copper. <laughs> oh my. We may have to uh, reverse the orientation of these things. That side may be, yeah, okay. Okay, yeah. Let's change this whole scene around here. Put our crusher over here. <laughs> this stuff. Um, that's not even where I want it. Put our crusher over here. That was where I wanted it. I thought that was the electric furnace. <laughs> Put that down first before I go crazy. Um, you know, one electric furnace. One crusher. One item pipe set. So we'll stick the uh, copper in here. Okay, yeah. Now we're talking. Where is it going? <laughs> That's a good question. Now I don't know. I bet we could pump out of this side. I bet we could do that. Okay, we got uh, hopefully something functional here. So we'll throw this into the crusher. It'll start uh, crushing up, but it's pumping right into that. F Ooh! That's so frustrating. Yeah, it looks like it has to be the bottom, um, which is not what I really wanted this to look like, but, but that's industrial craft for you. It's, uh, it's finicky. Well, that's the wrong wrench. All right. Running out of, uh, out of copper here to try with. Okay, that'll do the trick. I think we have additional issues. Yep. <laughs> We gotta go up one more. Take 147. Let's see what happens if we just put the copper dust in here. Does it immediately get sucked out? No, it does not. So, all right, we learned some things about the Industrial Reborn machines. They are every bit as finicky and weird as the old Industrial Craft 2 machines. So, uh, hey. Uh, some verisimilitude for you. That's some, uh, you know, I'm not complaining. Like, they're they're cool. I think our item dupe issue with the, uh, with the glass bottles has been fixed. We're not just getting free bottles anymore. Um, oh, ooh, peanut butter. Oh, you get a bunch of it. Can I make peanut butter sandwiches? I don't think I have any bread in here. Anyway. Now we have to remake our extremely expensive alloy smelter. Because um, when we tried to move it, we just got the machine casing back. And one thing I've discovered is that I think we can use these plates to make... Uh, to then make the wiring from, but we can't use the wire mold on the metal press for uh, industrial reborn wires, for instance, to uh, to craft to make the circuits. But let's see, there's our cutter. Let's just make sure that's actually true. Here we go. Before I throw too much copper in there. Yeah, okay, that works fine. 
So that's cool. Just about done here. We just need to craft our heat conductor like we did before. And or oh, our, our electric furnaces, of course. I made the iron furnaces. I forgot to upgrade them. So just a matter of a little bit of redstone, I think. So we've already made the circuits. All right. Now it used to be we're going to make just a few more of these heat conductors. Maybe not that many. It used to be that some of these things, whoops, uh, jetpacks in here. Some of these blocks you could right click things into. I don't know if this is one of them. And if it is, I don't think I want this thing set up right here. So we're going to make uh, a little more copper cables real quick here. Again, probably not that many. <laughs> We're going to need this for other things. Interestingly, the rubber seeds um, from Mystical Agriculture didn't didn't work the last time I checked. They were uncraftable. Yeah, they're still uncraftable. Oh, something must be going on with that. We're going to risk putting it right here. Are we? Yeah, because how much of this stuff are we really going to need with the kiln? We're just, uh, we're really just experimenting here. So let's go ahead and remove those connections, certainly. Oh, it's got power. Let's see. Not a thing. Not a single thing ding. Now there's something new called a heat exchanger. I don't know what it does, but we're going to find out. Oh, we already got some of these. And... I don't know if just putting one in the machine will do anything. And just uses some tin plates and some copper plates and an electronic circuit. Heat exchange from what would be the question, wouldn't it? Um, well, running out of ideas. Um, it might just not work yet. That's certainly on the menu. But we're going to try this geothermal generator. Now, this takes, uh, does this take lava? Is that what it takes? Let's see. Can I put a bucket of lava in there? Yes, it can. And it generates some energy. It doesn't provide heat to this thing. Can we put this thing in it? No, we can't. Can we right click it on there? No, we can't. That doesn't seem right, does it? There's also a heat vent. Which, okay, we need an electric motor, coil. Hmm. I don't know about all that.
Boy, I guess you're just listening to that metal press. <laughs> no matter how far away you get from it, huh? All right, we're making that heat vent. We're, we're going to try, folks. Um, OK, so that's just iron. And we're going to need, well, we need three more. That's fine. Oh, that was more than enough. Well, that's good. We got two coils. And now we're going to need some tin plates, I guess. Let's go back. All right, see if we can do this. Nice. And then four iron plates and four iron bars. Craft it up. Give it a try. Oh no. What do you do with it? Make the component heat vent. Component heat vent. I wonder what that might do. Because that's what we need, is we need to use it as a component, right? I think. Um, I'm just saying words. I'm probably just saying words. <laughs> but, uh, we're going to pretend like we know what's going on, at least. And all this work in progress stuff makes me think that maybe we're, we're attempting something that's not yet possible. So let's see. Put it in here. What happens if we pick this up? Can we put it on the top? Now. Eh. I don't know what I'm doing. Fortunately, the one thing we needed that for is bronze, and we're able to get that out of our kiln back there, so that's a relief. Kind of the uh, the goal here, and it's it's gonna be a while. Um, but oh, I'm just I can't even type. The goal is this stuff. Um, we want the the nano chest plates. Is there even another tier past it yet? Doesn't look like it. But these are really good, and I want them. Um, what we're going to need is a compressor, and we make that in our crusher. So let's look at a compressor. First off, OK, electronic circuit, basic machine casing, stone, easy. Now we are going to need to crush up some diamonds for this. And it looks like we're crushing up at least 16. So let's get that working. Um, inventory's getting full here. Let's go back to the compressor. So, whoops, we still gotta we gotta make our iron plates. Be right. Ah, right, that's a good amount. Here's our machine casing. Here's our electronic circuit. Here's our compressor. Very nice. We don't need this any place in particular, because none of this stuff stacks, so we'll just stick it right here. Why am I rushing towards a nano suit? Because it's craftable, and the farther this mod gets updated, the harder it's going to be to make. All right, we're going to take our 16 crushed diamonds, and we're going to go ahead and craft it with some redstone. And that'll give us nine what, energium dust. I'm going to throw them in the compressor. And for each nine, oh, that moves along fast. For each nine, we're going to get uh, one of these uh, one of these power gems, energy crystals, I should say. Now, the other thing we're going to need, 
uh, some graphite. Carbon plate, I should say. And that we need carbon fibers. For that we need this. For that we need coal dust. And that's just grinding up some coal. Now part of the nano helmet is a night vision goggles. And one of the things we're going to need to make for that is this battery. And for that battery, we're going to need this battery. It's uh, None of it's too bad. Um, let's just get some redstone out of here. And our cutters. Uh, we have plenty enough to make another pair of cutters, right? Right? Let's uh, make the rods. We'll make a cutter. What are we talking about here? Okay, we're talking one, two, three, four, five copper cables, insulated, mind you. Um, throw those in here, do them up. I'm going to be real irritated if there's a huge, massive quest line to do this stuff later on. <laughs> I'm kidding, I won't be irritated. Um, and we're going to need some copper, we're going to need tin plates, redstone, there's a battery. Now we're going to need some copper plates. And oh, okay, it's it's going to be it's going to be like that. Okay. Doesn't like the uh the battery. Takes me back. Oh, what else did it need? I've got, I've got this all screwed up. We want the cables around here, right? Right. One advanced battery. We're also going to need a pair of illuminators. Um, okay, that's tin glass, tin cable, insulated tin cable. Um, Tin cable is made just the same as our copper cable. That ought to be enough. We have some glass, yes. And did it say we needed insulated? I think it said we needed insulated. Um, yeah, we'll need just one, because you actually get a bunch of illuminators. I, I think these are like light sources, powered light sources. It's been a long, long time, um, but we got them. Now, the next thing we're going to need is another regular electronic circuit. Oh, here's a question. You can't do these with the, uh, you can't do these with the cutters either. Um, you can't do it with the tree taps. We found that out. That should give us, we're getting confusing. Um, a little bit of iron, make our electronic circuit. Now this actually uses, an, whoops, that's just the rubber. Um, this actually uses an advanced circuit, which we've, we've seen them before. Um, and it's just a little glowstone, lapis, redstone. And make this stuff while the making's good. Here's our advanced circuit. The last thing we're going to need, reinforced glass. OK, that's going to take advanced alloy, which is another compression compressing recipe. We're going to need these mixed metal. Oh, OK. Doesn't look like there's any other way to make this. So it looks like everybody else playing the pack is having the same problem figuring out the alloy smelter as I am. So I don't know, like, do I, do I delete all this video? <laughs> like, make an episode about something else? I'm not sure. Well, we tried. <laughs> I guess it's not quite uh, not quite working yet. I looked online. I'd actually asked the question on the TNP Limitless Discord about a week ago, and there, there's no answer, so I, I asked again, just in case. Um, I think I'm going to take a little break, and uh, we'll come back with some more stuff in the next episode. Thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye.